So let's see the capacitors. I'm going to show you how to test and check the capacitors, all kind of capacitors. Okay, so let's get started. So I will show you how to check capacitors using two methods. The first method is by selecting the diode option and the second method by selecting the capacitor option. So here we have a tantalum capacitors that we're gonna check. So to check this capacitor basically we should determine the positive terminal. The band means positive terminal. So let's check. So as you can see we have a reading in the multimeter. So the value increase and decrease it means the capacitor charge and discharge it means this is a good capacitor. Okay, if you get a continuity or a buzzer means the capacitor is bad. So let's check this capacitor also. This is an electrolytic capacitor. So let's check it using the same working principle. So we have the value in the multimeter increase and decrease means the capacitor charge and discharge. Means this capacitor is good. Here also we have another tantalum capacitor. So as you can see in the multimeter, the same, we have read in here that increase and decrease means this is a good capacitor. Okay? So let's check also this electrolytic capacitor. So let's check. Okay? Here we get a reading in the multimeter that increase and decrease. As you can see, as you can see in the multimeter, we have a nanofarad, but we have here auto range. Okay, so the multimeter will check automatically the capacitance without selecting a range. So let's begin with this capacitor. We have 220, as you can see, 220 microfarad. Okay, 220 microfarad. So we should get 220 microfarad, but sometimes we cannot get exact value we, we have 220 about 220 we have 249 so this is a good capacitor okay because you cannot get the exact value okay so here as you can see the, the unit change all automatically to microfarad here let's check this capacitor we have 227 in the capacitance 227 so as you can see in the multimeter so we have 200, about 227, we have 249, it's okay. Okay, so the capacitor is good. If you get a continuity or you hear a buzzer, means the capacitor is bad. So let's check this capacitor. Also, we have 220, its capacitance is 220 and 6.3 volt. So let's check. Always you should respect the polarity of the capacitor because the capacitor is a polarized component let's check good we have as you can see in the multimeter about 220 this is a good capacitor 226 good this is a good capacitor so as you can see here for this capacitor we have 220 and we have e we don't have a voltage but we have e but for this we should use the capacitance code table the e means 25 volts e refer to 25 volts as you can see in the code table but in this capacitor for example we have the capacitance and voltage so let's check this capacitor also we have here 110 volts so we should get 100 microfarad in the multimeter so let's check so we have 91 point for about 100 this is a good capacitor so now let's check the ceramic capacitors okay using the same working principle you should get a value in the multimeter the value increase as you can see we get a value means the ceramic capacitor is good if you get a continuity or a buzzer means the capacitor is damaged is bad so if the diode or the led is eliminated you can discard the multimeter okay 
So let's check this diode LED2. So as you can see, the diode is eliminated. The first diode, when we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode, and we get the red in. Let's check the second diode, because this diode contains two diodes inside it. If we switch the probes, as you can see, we will not get any reading. So let's check. No light, no reading. Okay, no light, no reading. Means the diode is good. Okay, now as you can see, this diode is for the computer motherboard. We can check it using the same working principle. So this is its terminals. So let's check its terminals using the multimeter. We get a reading here. Okay. So if we switch the probes, we should not get any reading. As you can see in the multimeter, it means the diode is good. Okay. Right now, let's see this kind of diodes. This is a THT diodes or a true hole technology diodes. Okay. As you can see, this is holes over here. That's why we call it THT diodes. Here in the back of the motherboard, as you can see, we have the terminals. All these components are a true hole components. Okay. And here, of course, these diodes are surface mount components. So here we have the cathode, as you can see. This band means the cathode. So let's put the multimeter to the diode option or continuity option. And then check these two diodes. So we should get a reading. So as you can see, we get a reading. When we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode, if we switch the probes, as you can see, no reading in the multimeter means the diode is serviceable. Let's check the second one with the same working principle. So here we have cathode. So let's check. We get a reading in the multimeter. If we switch the probes, we should not get any reading. As you can see, no reading.